Well, in an ever-changing world, we all need something to rely on. And in sport, one of those is rugby's greatest championships. Manoncello and other players really impressed for his club this season. There's a penalty advantage now being played to Italy. England coming offside. Italian record in the championship as well. So Damaso Allen, straight through the sweet spot. The Azzurri lead. Doesn't have too much real estate to deal with on the far side there. All being presented by the captain Lamoro. Nacho breaks, releases it, now there's a real chance. Canoni, and on there point. too. Alessandro Garbisi, and that is the first try of the match. The referee said the ball went forward off the knee. Forward once more, Elliot Daly getting into the line. He's a man with a license to roam today. Sam Underhill. That time it was Ben oh. Earl. Earl, the one of the England success the stories from the World Cup. Referee's playing an advantage here to England. Well, in off the cushion from Ford. That's a man with uh, a Maori tattoo all the way down his back. Now wearing a, a red rose on his chest. Sorry, man, that was a oh, a breakthrough. And this is superb from Freeman. And Freeman offloads to Daly. And Daly gets the try. From England, Freeman coming off his wing. Giving an option, he may not receive that ball, he did receive it, and then he's just distributed. Negri taking it into the contact. As Pilot Garbisi he breaks again, he's got wonderful hands. Now the space, and there are men, and here goes Manoncello, inside. That is wonderful, quite brilliant rugby. And it's Tommaso Allen who gets the score. Italy on defensive duties, Mato Itoji within a metre and a half. Mitchell just getting pushed out of the way. Will Stewart wants to have a go, and the ball's gone forward, and Italy survived, however. A few months of his time with the England setup, and George Ford. No problems that time. Narrowing the deficit to just six points. A second England career, if you like, for him after being dropped at the end of the last Six Nations, not taken to the World Cup. Nine of this England 23, have no involvement in France. Mitchell off the outside of his left foot there. Referee though playing an advantage. Well, once again, just flirting a little bit with that right hand upright, but it's now three from four. England now within 12 metres or so. Away five! Yeah, ball's there. Mitchell chooses to work the short side, sees a chance, sees a gap. He's still going, is Mitchell. Mitchell, has he got there? Yeah, the referee it. says he has. Italy do have a 6 2 split on the bench, but they make four alterations there now. And George Ford adds another three, and it's. Starting to look a little more comfortable now for England. 24 points to 17. Making that a 10-point game. Two scores, Italy will then need. Yes. So England's blood pressure can just drop a little bit. The pulse rate too. They have a gap now of 10 points. Okay. And we'll listen. I'll need a mark as well, please. Um, okay, you're on screen now. Okay. No, no. You've clearly put a foot out to trip him. It's yellow card. Paul, the mark is on the 50 metre line, five metres in. Lost now, boys. Okay. Nacho Brex. Ioani. Oh, a tackle there from the player of the match. But Yohan is still going, and Yohan is away! And the Italians are going to get their put. Against England will now go to 31. But Paolo Garbisi slots the conversion. The referee 
blows his whistle for the end of the match.